One of the things I kept hearing in the spirit um, over this past weekend was, I don't want a divorce. And I sat with it for a while, um, you know, and waited for the Lord to expound on it and uh, just speak more about what that was, who it was for, um, and how he wanted me to relate this message. For those of you who are standing for your marriages, for those of you who are in divine separation um, and you are the standard and your spouse at one point was adamant about wanting a divorce. For those of you that this applies to, thank you, Holy Spirit. If you don't know, if you're not sure, take this back to God. Um, test the Spirit. This should serve as confirmation, not something brand new. But at one point, your spouse was adamant or has been adamant about not wanting to be with you, not wanting to do the Lord's will, Knowing what God told you, but still willfully chose to go their own way. Like they were still adamant about wanting a divorce and moving forward with the divorce. It's like I heard he was allowing me, thank you, Holy Spirit, to hear their thoughts saying within themselves, I don't want a divorce anymore. And what God was showing me um, more so probably these last few days is that Remember I said he allows them, well, all of us, you know, to be in our free will, but there will come a time when us choosing our own way of living that is outside of the will of God, like sooner or later, we would be like the prodigal son and have that uh, prodigal son mindset where we come to ourselves. And what he was showing me is that many of them have come to themselves, thank you, Holy Spirit, or coming to themselves. They are feeling like everything that they have tried is not working. Everything that they try to do on their own is not working. Everything that they try to do, thank you, Holy Spirit, apart from you is not working. Everything that they try to do apart from God is not working. Nothing is working for them. They had to get to a point where they came to the end of themselves. And I know some of you, many of you, a lot of you, I remember those days, you know, you were frustrated. God, how long will they keep getting away with this? How long will you keep letting them choose their will? How long will you keep letting them... Um, go unpunished, you know, or this deed go unnoticed, uh, this circumstance go unnoticed. And God had to let them get to a point because they were in their free will. He had to let them get to a point just like Jonah in the belly of the whale. He came to himself similar to the prodigal son where he cried out, you know, prayed to the Lord and decided to lay down his will. And I'm paraphrasing it, submit to do the Lord's will. He ended up getting spit out at the very place, you know, that he was supposed to go anyway. But they had to get to a point where they, God allowed them to uh, come to the end of themselves in a way where everything that they have tried, no matter how much they tried to suppress it, how, how much they tried to uh, have a poker face, thank you, Holy Spirit, many of them were to the point where they wouldn't allow you to see that they were struggling within. They wouldn't allow you to see that they were coming to the end of themselves. They wouldn't allow you to see that they were getting frustrated with how things were going for them. So this is also for those of you who your rebellious spouse is operating that, product, uh, that prideful, thank you Holy Spirit, that prideful uh, mindset. But it's to a point now, like I said, I heard the thought over this weekend. All I just, I heard it so loud and clear. I don't want to divorce anymore. I'm not saying everything is going to happen overnight, but remember I did the message that things will now start to look different. They had to come to the end of themselves. If this applies to you, you had to stay out of the way. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because if the Lord was trying to dry up resources, if the Lord was trying to close doors, if the Lord was trying to send a famine to their land, some of you went in a time of no contact or it was less contact. Maybe not completely no contact, but it was less contact. God allowed it like that. And he's just giving me fresh revelation on this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He allowed it like that because as long as they kept trying to not think about you and trying to do this this way and trying to do this their way, as long as you stayed out of the picture, it made it more in their face of how much they truly needed you. You see what I'm saying? Because if they didn't have a time or a chance to miss you, if you always popped up, if you were always texting, if you were always showing up on their social media, if you were always, thank you, Holy Spirit, reaching out first and initiating first, this is why I said you had to follow Holy Spirit's leading on this. 
Now they've come to the end of themselves. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit, that silence of them being alone, that silence of them being away. At one point, they wanted that silence because it was like relief to them. You're not nagging. You're not uh, asking questions. You're not in a picture. They felt relief being away from you. Now that silence is speaking too loud. You see what I'm saying? So as long as you took heed, thank you, Holy Spirit, to Holy Spirit's leadings and to the Lord's instructions, that silence began to speak for them now. Now it's like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh my gosh, this isn't working. Oh my gosh, I don't want to divorce. Do not manipulate this time, even with getting this message. This is not for you to reach out now and check on them. This is not for you to just say, hey, you know, just wanted to see how things are going. Not if that's not how Holy Spirit is leading you. This is a time now where the Lord is basically showing you things are turning in your favor. It was always going to be in your favor. But remember when I said things would now begin to look different. You're going to notice a difference in their attitude, a difference in their posture, a difference in how they approach you, a difference in their actions. Think, expect things to look different now. But they had to get to that moment where they finally realized not only do they not want this divorce anymore, but they finally realize everything they have tried to do their way. I don't care how much effort they put in it, how much they tried to ignore it, how much they tried to suppress it, how much they tried to brush it under the rug. The Lord knew how much pressure to put on them where they would finally have that, thank you, Holy Spirit, that aha moment, have that epiphany where it's like, what am I doing? This is not what I want. This is not the way I thought my life was going to be. It had to get to a point where it just, Finally look to them what once looked pleasing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the grass, okay? What once looked like what they thought the grass would be greener on the other side. That's what that was. So I kept hearing a lot more this morning. I mean, oddly enough, someone was uh, doing yard work in our neighborhood um, earlier this morning. But I was like, it's kind of cold for them to be doing yard work today. But the grass has been cut like what they once thought they had now things are being revealed now things are making sense now it's all coming to them like the grass isn't greener over here life isn't better life is not better apart from them life is not better apart from god continue to partner with the lord in this continue to trust the lord in this to see what your instructions are on how to move with this Right now, you're still supposed to keep your hands out of it. You're still supposed to keep your mouth out of it. Just continue to pray for the Lord's will to be done unless he instructs you or leads you otherwise. Right now, the only download I have gotten for this particular message is not only to take heed to this, but just to sit back and watch. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sit back and watch how things begin to unfold, right? Not you trying to speed up the process. Not you trying to look and peep and prowl and check for yourself. Let things unfold. It will be brought to you. It will be made uh, relevant to you. Don't go out looking for it. Let God bring it to you. Let God do what God is doing. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is saying, if you have to poke and prowl and investigate and check to see if this applies to you rather than just taking heed to it, the Lord will rebuke you. There will be consequences if you get in the way. There will be consequences if you try and put your hands in it. There will be consequences if you try to, thank you, Holy Spirit, even try to test the waters with it. Let it play out the way it plays out. For those of you who have been a, a good steward over this particular part of the season, this is like another reward. This is like another announcement coming. This is another, um, just another a part of provision of things working out in your favor. So, Take all of this back to the Lord. Let him um, confirm if this applies to you. And okay, God, you you uh, you show me that this is my message. You show me because this served as confirmation. Lord, show me what you want me to do with it. How do you want me to move in this? Do I just sit back? Do I start praying for them? Do I just wait? You follow the Lord's lead. If he isn't giving you new instructions, continue doing what you've already been doing. Unless, like I said, he leads you otherwise. This doesn't mean to pray for their eyes to be opened anymore. Or, Lord, I pray that um, this is done speedily and abundantly. Follow God's lead on this. You've made it this far. Don't get in the way now. Don't go ahead of God now. And don't play God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Do not try and play God in this situation. Y'all be blessed. And I will see you next time. Bye.